Endure and survive and welcome everybody to another episode of the Lunch Table Podcast. And in this episode, we're going to give you our review for Daryl Dixon, season one, now streaming on AMC Plus in Prime, if you want. Um, I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead, stuck with it since the very beginning. Dylan is now kind of getting into The Walking Dead. We figured we might as well give this show a try since Daryl is such a famous character. Without further ado, why don't you give us your thoughts on this Last of Us spin-off? <laughs> you don't know how much he wanted to use this intro. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, it feels so good. <laughs> but funny enough, it actually, it's funny that you did that because it feels like it's cut from the same cloth right. as The Last of Us. I don't know, there's something about, there's a lot of things that made me feel like I was watching The Last mm-hmm. of Us spin-off. Um, but it's The Walking Dead, you know, you like Akram said, I, I kind of fell off with the show a little bit. Akram stuck with some of the spin-off shows, but... Daryl Dixon's a fan favorite for me, so I thought it was interesting that they gave him a solo series. So I said, oh, I'll check it out. And it takes place in France, which I think is an interesting perspective, like to see yeah. how the uh, the virus affects like other parts of the world. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to see that in the Walking Dead universe. So it's, it's pretty cool. We're introduced to some new factions, um, some new characters. Uh, and it kind of feels like, I'm not going to lie, it's another Mandalorian show. Yes. <laughs> It's another badass that has to take care of a child that's like the savior of humanity, even though he's Not he really. only knows like geometry or some shit. It's like a wiki how type of knowledge or, or something. It's so yeah. stupid. Yeah. Okay, this motherfucker solved the Rubik's Cube. You think he's going to save the world yeah. from a complex virus? He like read the ingredients to a candle. He's like, yeah, did you know? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. But no, it was it was pretty it was pretty fine. I will admit sometimes the pacing did feel a bit slow mm. with certain moments. Um, they they did do like flashback sequences like they normally do in The Walking Dead, like for like exposition. Like Isabel, we got a lot of exposition on her. Right. Um, I thought her character was pretty interesting. Uh, it is kind of weird seeing them use like. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, medieval weapons. It is cool. I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty cool. It's like watching like Pride and Prejudice with jo- with zombies. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't make sense because we like in the Walking Dead universe they have like a variety of like firearms. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why wouldn't you have like modern weapons? It's like we, me and Akram were. So I was like, why didn't they just like rob a police station or some yeah. shit and just get like some firearms? But they have like they have some cool firearms. They have some, like World War Two rifles. They have like some like medieval like uh, cavalry weapons. I thought that was pretty. That's a interesting take on how to. They always try to diversify, like, how can we make killing walkers, like, cool again? Right. Um, and it's just interesting that they use France because it's, like, France is a very, like, medieval kind of setting in itself. Like, even a modern day France, right? There's a lot of castles. There's a lot of, like, old historical uh, fortresses that are that are built to sustain, you know, life for, like, long battles and sieges. So I think that's really interesting that they did that in the world of The Walking Dead where, like, survival is key. So. But Akron, let's get your thoughts. Yeah, no, exactly. I, I think that setting is interesting. The only downside is I wish they went in more. I thought the show would have been better if they kind of tried to discover the origin of the virus a little bit more. Um, because when we saw uh, The Walking Dead, The World Beyond, that ending was like, it just, my mouth was wide open because they actually showed that, uh, okay, it started in France. And it's like, well, gee, Louise, like you could have put one of those scientists at least in the show or something. And then we get more info. Maybe Daryl, since now he's just this type of Ronin or something, he's like going out on his own and, or like this knight, you know, and he's trying ah. to figure out things out. Yeah, because actually Michonne will be kind of like this Ronin and, and maybe Daryl is like this knight or in shining armor mm-hmm. or, you know, his horse is the motorcycle, if you will. <laughs> um, turned into Ghost Rider. Yeah, t- I actually would. I always wanted him to play Ghost Rider in MCU. But uh, yeah, I think I think that was a little disappointing. Um, but it's kind of cool to see new stuff that they're doing with the Walkers. They're different. They have this type of mutation vaccine thing that they could put into the Walkers, and they're going to be a little different. I think at some points too, if you touch them or whatever, it's like acidic or something like that, right? Mm, it burns them. Yeah. Or so that's I call them the the Omicron variant. The Omicron variant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's cool. You know, that never happened in the comics. Of course, Daryl's not even a character in a comic, so this is a complete spinoff. And 
Um, it kind of reminds me of video games where they have different variants of zombies, where they could be brutes and then some that spew acid and stuff like that. So there's a lot more to play with when you're going up against the zombies. I'm sure eventually at one point down, down in the future, we'll probably see all of these type of variants come together and maybe like it'll be kind of like um what's that plants and zombies or what is that that app that gaming oh, app? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like that <laughs> so stupid <laughs> like where you just try and fight all these different types of zombies and stuff um norman reedus is amazing i cannot wait to see him in death stranding 2 as well he's awesome actor um i hope this isn't the last we see of him you know i hope we see more i mean unless you know hey it's a, it's a solid check you've been working on here for a long time as the character <laughs> so um but yeah yeah overall i thought it was interesting i I, like i agree with you what you said with the zombies um i always said that i i kind of wanted to see more creativity with the walkers because i feel like in in the other shows they were kind of generic at least they tried to make them more of a threat in this one um which i think some people were even complaining about in the other shows like uh, they're kind of like slow and generic it's like they're not really a threat anymore Mm -hmm. um but here they kind of like changed them to like make them mutated they even get yeah like some of them like can spew acid too so it's like a, it's like a new threat, and actually that, that kind of makes it more interesting because their their weapons are kind of like um like primitive mm. almost, and then they're fighting like new variations of walkers, um, and to see like even like they're experimenting on them is kind of cool too. Um, the villain kind of reminded me of of Kathleen yeah. too from the Last of Us. <laughs> That's why yes. I keep saying it keeps going back to the Last of Us. because right. it's cut from the same cloth. Um, even the little kid Laurent, he he kind of feels like a like an Ellie character. Like they mm. treat him as like this messiah character, but that, that's why I keep laughing. It's like, what's so special about him? Why? Because he was born in like a, a monastery with nuns and stuff. Like you could have picked like any kid mm-hmm. and just said like, oh, he's the messiah, right? But in a way, it kind of shows you that this world is so desperate for a sign of hope yeah you know yeah. that they they look to this little kid and they're like oh this could be like the next coming of christ or something yeah it's symbolic um and th- even that that monastery too was kind of cool like um i forgot what it's called it's like the union mm-hmm. and they have like the different it's interesting i never seen that before like in a show like uh, a union of like different faiths like coming together sure. you know just to, for one person mm-hmm. that probably shows you how bad you know this this epidemic is that yeah you know d- people of different faiths are like coming together and creating their own prophecies in a way right exactly yeah i mean and it just touches on i think that's cool because it touches on the comic a little bit um the comic goes into that about just faith and hope and community coming together and what does that represent what can you do with it and sometimes it could be weaponized in a way and so i, I love that they did this with this show i think as a matter of fact that's probably one of the most important things for me because i'm a big fan of you know just that narratology um that said you know the themes i think are really strong um and really poignant and i do appreciate that and um yeah yeah exactly mm-hmm. Well, do you think there will be a season two? What do you expect? We'll see more out of Daryl. Um, it seems like they're giving everybody a spinoff show nowadays. Maybe something more with Carol because we did kind of see her in this season as well. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Well, I think she's retired now from acting. Carol, so I think she's gone. Um, for Daryl, there's a possibility. Walking Dead is weird now. It's at a weird state. Um, because we do have, which we're going to do a review for that too, for the Walking Dead, the last season. I know we're like pretty late sometimes with the Walking Dead, but you know, there's some stuff that seems really significant. So I might as well give it a shot. And so Fear Walking Dead is going to have a series finale. Um, a lot of these shows aren't coming back. We have Tales of the Walking Dead that was okay. You know, it's like an anthology series, but as for these characters, such as Daryl, I'm not really sure. I don't want to see the last of Daryl. I really want to see more. And I do want to see... I think he's a great character to show the origins of the virus. I mean, we do have the Michonne and Rick show coming pretty soon. And maybe that's actually going to do its job and show the origin of the virus and where has Rick been. Because that that community that Rick's a part of is really in the know-how of of how to make the virus and stuff like that. They're kind of like the CIA, if you will. Mm. Um, so. I, I hope we see more of Daryl. Um, we're definitely not going to see the people from Fear the Walking Dead anymore because I would have figured maybe you could have just threw Daryl in the Fear the Walking Dead show just because you had Morgan, but now that show's ending. That used to be the main show, so we have no main show anymore. To you know, So it's like, what's going to be the main show? I'm sure I don't know. But Daryl perhaps maybe can be 
the Rick of the main show, like if they if they choose to make it finally, since he's such a fan favorite. So if I were to rate, I feel like uh, I feel like Luke. I'm like it's time for the Jedi to end. <laughs> Shit. Shit, that's the only thing Mark Hamill wants to end. Right. But yeah, uh, if I were to rate this season, oh man, I honestly would give it. I think I give it a solid eight out of ten. I give it an eight out of ten. How about yourself? Okay. Um. I don't know. It felt pretty slow. I did have fun with it, though. I think it was interesting for to have for Daryl's first solo season. I I agree. I feel like after Rick, he should be the next kind of like lead uh, for the continuity. Um, I kind of see want to see like where his story goes. I'm not a big fan of going back to the origins of the virus. I think it's been like so established already. It's just like what else can you do with it? But for me, I'll probably give this show a 7 out of 10. Okay, well, that's fair enough. You guys heard it here. If you made it to the end of this video, please like this video, actually. It'll greatly help us out. We appreciate your patronage very much. And if you actually enjoyed the show, let us know your thoughts or hot takes in the comments below. Please be nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have a lot of content coming your way. So plenty of stuff for you guys. Fuck it. They'll take us away. Well, guys, thank you so much. Leave a like below. Let us know what you thought of the show, what you think we'll see in the future. But until then, endure and survive. Endure and survive. <laughs> Yay! Acromis is last of us. Uh, <laughs> <love it. laughs>